Since his days developing Trent Dilfer at Fresno State and Joey Harrington at Oregon, Jeff Tedford has had a reputation for bringing the best out of a quarterback. Tedford has two quarterbacks this year, and I asked him earlier during Kyle's off week if he felt the competition between his guys was healthy for the team. I think we're in a great situation to have two guys there that uh, are having a healthy competition and two guys that can go in and help us win. Uh, obviously, Nate, like you mentioned, has the experience. He's played a lot of games here. He's thrown for a lot of touchdowns, a lot of yards here, and uh, has provided a lot of great leadership for us. Kevin last year and even at the beginning of this year has done some good things. A little bit more mobile. Uh, you know, can when the things break down, he can get out of there and make some things happen. And so we're pretty fortunate to have two guys, and it's probably going to take both of them for us to get where we need to be. Coach, Lavelle Hawkins, Deshaun Jackson, both those guys were part of a huge class. I remember when you brought that class in. Hawkins was a JC transfer, but they were some of the best receivers in the country. Talk about replacing those guys and, and kind of what direction you, you've gone to this year. Well, you know, we are. We're very young there, and, and we were fortunate to have some great players there last year. Um, this year, um, guys like Nyan Boateng, the transfer from Florida, is doing a fine job for us. Michael Calvin is a big six foot three guy that can really run. He's filling in for us as well. So, very inexperienced. But the difference is, we have we have great size and speed there. Before we had very quick guys, but they were kind of small. You're looking at pretty much every one of our receivers now, six foot two to six foot four, and can really run. So, I'm really excited about how these guys are improving every single week, and I think they're going to be a great uh, group for us. Well, you're known for your passing and the receivers and quarterbacks we've talked about, but you've had a nice string of running backs there at Cal. Talk about Javid Best, what he brings to the table, and how he kind of fits in with some of the guys you've had before him. We have. You know, we've been really fortunate to have tandems of backs, be it J.J. Arrington and Marshawn Lynch or Marshawn Lynch and Justin Forsett. Now we have Javid Best and Shane Vereen. Uh, Javid is a guy who... He's an unbelievable talent, uh, game breaker, uh, very, very fast. And, and same with Shane Vereen. Shane Vereen is much like him in that he's very strong inside. But when he gets in the open field, those guys can really do something with the football. Coach, defensively, uh, do you feel like you guys are where you want to be right now, or do you still have some uh, ways to go? Well, we're always looking to improve each and every week. But I'm really pleased on how Coach Gregor, our defensive coordinator and a defensive staff, uh, has put our players in a position to be successful. I think we've been pretty solid here early in the in this season. Uh, there's a lot of football to be played, so we just need to continue to develop. And I think we have, have a have an opportunity to be a pretty good defense. Coach, you're one of the best coaches in college football. We uh, really appreciated talking with you. Thanks, Coach Tedford. All right, Kevin. Thanks for having me.